I mean, quite honestly, regardless of what's in this audit report, um, and I'm going to let others sort out the accounting and the legal issues behind it, we all can agree that $19,000 was spent on an item and no one has really seen it. And I, I do know that the press has asked numerous times, when will this be used? When can we see it? When will it publicly be avail available to be used? Because otherwise, it was a complete waste of money because no one's using it. So my question is, when will it be available for people to see it? When will it be available? Um, you know, when, was the, when is the governor going to start using it? Where is it? Where is it physically sitting right now? Thank you for the question. Um, it's physically sitting in the governor's office where it always has been since it was delivered in August. Uh, any of you are welcome to come see it uh, when we're finished here. Uh, we would welcome the opportunity to show it, just as we have showed it to members of the press who have asked to see it. Uh, the Arkansas Democrat Gazette photographer took a picture of it uh, sometime in September and then online accused him that it was still not real. And he was there taking a picture of it. It exists. It's real. Um, the governor fully intends to begin using it as soon as this audit was completed. But she recognizes that uh, it's been a distraction at the moment and she wasn't going to allow her use of a podium while the audit was was being conducted to distract from other work that she was doing. Uh, the podium is going to be used, as I think is evident by the video that she put out last night. So I kind of have a three-part question to you guys, to the governor's office. Did the governor's office make a good faith effort to get them to respond to possibly clear up some of these matters? Do you know why they chose not to respond, and do you wish they would have? Yes, ma'am, the governor's office did make a good faith effort uh, at the request of legislative audit. I sent two emails personally to the vendors with a list of questions attached to one of those emails um, and asked that they respond to those and send those answers directly back to legislative audit. Certainly it would have allowed ledge audit to answer some questions that remained unanswered in the audit. Um, and as to your third question, I think I answered all of them, actually. I just said, yeah, I, th okay. I think you did. Can you also explain the $2,500 consulting fee for the in on the invoice and who was consulted and what, the, what consultation was provided? Yeah, I think it's important to remember, and thank you for the question. Uh, I think it's important to remember that uh, Hannah Stone and Virginia Beckett are two talented individuals who I've worked with. Uh, not only here locally, but in Washington, D.C., as well as around the world on event planning, operations, uh, you name it. They're some of the best in the business. Uh, it's already been referenced by uh, Ledge Audit that uh, Hannah and Virginia were heavily involved in the planning of the governor's inauguration. Uh, they procured the podium that was used for that. Uh, we liked that podium. Uh, we felt that uh, we were in the market for a similar model. And we have a long-standing relationship with Hannah and Virginia and know their work uh, and their competency to get things done. It wouldn't be any different than uh, any of you in your relationship with a personal doctor or a uh, family accountant. Uh, you don't ask those people not to charge you. Uh, they're still in the interest of their running a business. Uh, so the consultant fee uh, is, the, is the fee that Hannah and Virginia uh, took from the work that they did to complete uh, the purchase of the podium. But 2500 was uh, the cost that Hannah and Virginia charged uh, for their consulting work to ensure that the customizations for the podium, including the height, uh, were provided to the manufacturer. Were those the, was the, when the podium was delivered, Poe as I like to refer to it, uh, when it was delivered, did it meet the specifications that, that, that was requested out of the governor's office, height, width, I mean, were all those specifications met? Because I've just read in the report that it was saying like the, there was, the dimensions were not what was ordered or so, can y'all? Sure, there's, it is referenced in the report uh, and we do acknowledge that the height specifications were not exactly met, but I want to be clear that we're talking about a matter of uh, inches. Uh, it's not 
a huge discrepancy, okay. uh, and we have explored uh, ways to ensure that it's modified to meet what we wanted. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I am wrapped in the legalese and accountancies that have inundated us today. So mine is a very simple question since I'm just a country girl from Hope, Arkansas. It is the opinion of the AG's office. Let me first state what I do believe Audit is saying. Audit is saying that you don't have to have pre-approval for procurement. Is that what Audit is saying? That the AG's office, that we'll just say the AG's office, let's get it off the governor's office, that the constitutional officers don't have to have pre-approval for procurement. However, they do need to have to follow the rules of marketing and redistribution for the purposes of, of removing something that they have purchased. So let me just ask you this. If the AG of the state of Arkansas chooses to buy a $20,000 car, you don't have to go through procurement, but you can then turn around and sell it for $500 and that's okay. Is that what y'all are saying today? So what we're doing is responding to the question that we were asked in the opinion about okay. whether the constitutional officers are agencies for purposes of every subchapter within the general accounting and budgetary procedures law. And the answer to that from a legal perspective is no. My understanding is that previous constitutional officers and in different, in different uh, constitutional offices have voluntarily complied with some of the procurement rules to avoid concerns like you're describing. The, the crux of the issue is in the uh, selling of the of the pet of the uh, podium, Leg Audit is saying that it still belongs to the state of Arkansas because you did not follow the rules that have been in place. I'm going to ask my my question is not a difficult one. All it requires is a simple yes or no, and that is if a constitutional office chooses to purchase an automobile for twenty thousand. What I'm hearing you say is that they may distribute that for any price they choose. Now, is that what I'm hearing? What, what I'm trying yes to answer, no? my answer to your question is that that is up to this body, and this body can set In the rules instance, for that. In this instance, we're not talking about some other. We have a podium that has been sent someplace else. If, if the issue was a $20,000 car, and a constitutional officer chose to send it someplace to resell it without going through what we have traditionally gone through, they could sell that car for $500. And because it is a constitutional office, this body, leg audit, has no control over it. Is that what you're saying to me today? What I'm saying is that the law is up to this body, and what I'm saying, and, and that answer has been the answer given since 1991. 